Hi, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to share some tips with you on how to travel from USA to India and what are the formalities that you'll need to know. My mom just left a couple of days back. I'm also going to uh, share um, what we did right before she left. We actually went outdoor dining after more than a year. So we've never been outdoor dining. We have been ordering uh, in, but never went out. So we're going to share what we did. Um, and uh, but first and foremost, let me share the tips with you. Uh, what are the formalities involved when you're traveling from USA to India? Um, the first thing is you need to get RT-PCR tested and the report has to be obviously negative and the test has to be done within 72 hours before your flight departure. So if you're leaving on Monday 10 a.m., then you have to get a negative report anytime after uh, the last Friday, 10 a.m., so three days before your departure. Uh, that's what we did with mom. We got her tested and it came negative. Then we had to take that report and we had to upload it in the Air Suvidha portal. You'll find it, just search online and you'll find the uh, Air Suvidha portal. You need to upload it. They'll uh, send you a confirmation. Just make sure that you print out the confirmation. So Air Suvidha confirmation A, COVID tested negative. B, air suvidha confirmation, you need printouts of both these things. Uh, then um, the other thing was obviously take your boarding pass, have that printed out and make sure that uh, you're carrying all of these things with you. Um, because if you do not get the negative report, then there might be a lot of hassles, which you would definitely want to avoid. So yeah, these were the only things that needed to be done. Um, we uh, went through an app called Kaila. They charged us um, around $95 and we went to one of the nearby uh, locations. They mentioned to us um, which locations we could go to and we got her tested and the results came in less than 22, uh, 24 hours, to be honest, but just wanted to be uh, safe. So we went like uh, um, three days before the departure date. Um, so yeah, I'll share all the links with you uh, in the description box. So, and if you have any concerns or questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, and um, apart from this, what else I want to share with you is like we went outdoor dining after more than a year. Um, so uh, I'm going to share how, where we went, what we did. Um, we have never been out for out outdoor dining in like ever since the lockdown started, ever since COVID happened. And this was the first time when we had a really great time. And I'm going to share that with you as well. So come uh, check out where we went. <laughs> After the test, we decided to go to a nearby Starbucks for some coffee and uh, iced tea. <laughs> After Starbucks, it's now time for us to pick up some lunch from a sandwich shop. That's where we are going. We have picked up Anya from daycare. She's back home and we are spending some time in the backyard getting some sun and she's busy making a mess with all all the mud and dirt and soil. What is it? My kid is My help <laughs> Thank you.
Buri, Buri, Eta. Hi, Bar. Hi, Bolada. Video that the Hi, Bolada. We've come for outdoor dining first time since the last one year. No, but it's not comfortable. Look, it's not comfortable. 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 It's not Okay, we'll be We ordered some paneer tikka, some prawns, lemonade, mango mojito, then um, dal, uh, and butter chicken, and kulcha, and naan. And this restaurant is called Amber, it's in San Jose. It's a really nice place for Indian food. So now it's time to head back home. We had a wonderful time. I think more so because we went out after more than a year. The food tasted amazing as well. It could be in our mind, but uh, yes, we had a wonderful time and it was a welcome break for us. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba.